Cavalleria Rusticana is an opera in one act by Pietro Mascafni to an Italian libretto by Giovanni Targini Chozzetti and Guido Manassi, adapted from a play and short story written by Giovanni Verga. Considered one of the classic Verismo operas, it premiered on May 17, 1890, at the Teatro Costanzi in Rome. Since 1893, it has often been performed in a so-called Capag double bill with Pagliacchi by Ruggeroli and Cavallo. Composition history. In July 1888 the Milanese music publisher Edardo Sonzogno announced a competition open to all young Italian composers who had not yet had an opera performed on stage. They were invited to submit a one-act opera, which would be judged by a jury of five prominent Italian critics and composers. The best three would be staged in Rome at Sonzogno's expense. Mascafni heard about the competition only two months before the closing date and asked his friend Giovanni Targini Chozzetti, a poet and professor of literature at the Italian Royal Naval Academy in Livorno, to provide a libretto. Targini Chozzetti chose Cavalleria Rusticana, a popular short story by Giovanni Verga, as the basis for the opera. He and his colleague Guido Manassi set about composing the libretto, sending it to Mascafni in fragments sometimes only a few verses at a time on the back of the postcard. The opera was finally submitted on the last day that entries would be accepted. In all, 73 operas were submitted, and on March 5, 1890, the judges selected the final three, Nicola Spinelli's Le Bilia, Vincenzo Ferroni's Rudello, and Mascafni's Cavalleria Rusticana. There have been two other operas based on Verga's story. The first, Malapasqua by Stanislaw Gestolden, was entered in the same competition as Mascafni's. However, Gestolden withdrew it when he received an opportunity to have it performed at the Teatro Costanzi, where it premiered on April 9, 1890. In the 1907 Sonsogno competition, Domenico Munawan submitted an opera based on the story, and likewise called Cavalleria Rusticana. The opera was not successful in the competition, but premiered later that year in Amsterdam and went on to a successful tour throughout Europe, ending in Turin. Sonsogno, wishing to protect the lucrative property which Mascafni's version had become, took legal action and successfully had Munawan's opera banned from performance in Italy. Munawan changed the opera a euro beyond recognition a euro unregistered trademark, setting the music to a new libretto. In this form it was presented as La Giostra dei Falci in 1914. Performance history. Equals Premier equals, Cavalleria Rusticana opened on the evening of May 19, 1890 at the Teatro Costanzi in Rome to a half-empty house. However, the audience included not only the most authoritative music critics in the country but also Queen Margherita, a great music lover. It was a success from its opening notes. Following Stagno's rendition of the Siciliana behind the curtain the audience leapt to their feet with a thunderous applause not heard for many years. The number was encored as were a number of other numbers in the opera. It was a sensation, with Mascafni taking 40 curtain calls and winning the first prize. Equals subsequent performances equals, although Mascafni had started writing two other operas earlier, Cavalleria Rusticana was his first opera to be completed and performed. It remains the best known of his 15 operas and one operetta. Apart from Cavalleria Rusticana, only Iris and Lamico Fritz have remained in the standard repertory, with Isabo and Il Piccolo Marat on the fringes of the Italian repertoire. Its success has been phenomenal ever since its first performance. At the time of Mascafni's death in 1945, the opera had been performed more than 14,000 times in Italy alone. In 1890, Following its run of sold-out performances at the Teatro Costanzi, the opera was produced throughout Italy and in Berlin. It received its London premiere at the Shaftesbury Theatre on October 19, 1891 and its Covent Garden premiere on May 16, 1892. American producers vied with each other to be the first to present the opera in that country. Cavalleria Rusticana finally had its American premiere in Philadelphia at the Grand Opera House on September 9, 1891, followed by a performance in Chicago on September 30, 1891. The opera premiered in New York on October 1, 1891, with two rival performances on the same day, 
an afternoon performance at the Casino, directed by Rudolf Aronson, and an evening performance at the Lenox Lyceum, directed by Oscar Hammerstein. The opera received its first performance at the Metropolitan Opera on December 30, 1891 in a double bill with a fragment of Gluck's Orfeo ed Eurydice, and has since received over 700 performances there, the most recent of which was in 2015 with Marcelo Alvarez as Chiridu and Eva Maria Westbrook as Sontuza. Roles Synopsis, Place, A 19th-century Sicilian village, Time, Easter morning before the action takes place, the young villager Chiridu had returned from military service to find that his fianca copyright E. Lola had married the Carter Alfio while Chiridu was away. In revenge, Chiridu had seduced Sontuza, a young woman in the village. As the opera begins, Lola, overcome by her jealousy of Sontuza, has begun an adulterous affair with Chiridu. The main square of the village, off stage, Chiridu is heard singing the Siciliana Euro O Lola, lovely as the spring Euro unregistered trademark S Bright Blooms. To one side is the church. To the other is Lucia's wine shop and the house where she lives with her son, Chiridu. The villagers move about the square, singing of the beautiful spring day and a hymn to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Some villagers enter the church, and others wander off still singing. Sauntoza having slept with Chiridu and suspecting that he has betrayed her for Lola, is distraught and approaches Lucia as she comes out of her house. Sauntoza asks for Chiridu, but Lucia replies that he has gone to another town to fetch some wine. Sauntoza tells her that he was seen during the night in the village. Lucia asks her inside to talk, but just at that moment Alfio arrives on his wagon, accompanied by the villagers. He praises the joys of a teamster's life and the beauty of his bride. Alfio asks Lucia for some of her fine old wine. She tells him it has run out and Chiridu has gone away to buy more. Alfio replies that he had seen Chiridu early that morning near his cottage. Lucia starts to express surprise, but Sauntuza stops her. Alfio leaves. The choir inside the church is heard singing the Regina Coeli. Outside, the villagers sing an Easter hymn, joined by Sauntuza. The villagers enter the church, while Sauntuza and Lucia remain outside. Lucia asks Sauntuza why she signaled her to remain silent when Alfio said that he had seen Chiridu that morning. Sauntuza exclaims, Though we lo sape to Euro now you shall know, and tells Lucia the story of her seduction by Chiridu and his affair with Lola. Lucia pities Sauntuza whom the villagers are considering excommunicating for her seduction. Sauntuza cannot enter the church, but begs Lucia to go inside and pray for her. Chiridu arrives. Sauntuza upbraids him for pretending to have gone away, when he was actually seeing Lola. Lola enters the square singing. She mocks Sauntuza and goes inside the church. Chiridu turns to follow Lola, but Sauntuza begs him to stay. Chiridu pushes her away. She clings to him. He loosens her hands, throws her to the ground, and enters the church. Alfio arrives looking for Lola. Sauntuza tells him that his wife has betrayed him with Chiridu. Alfio swears to take vendetta which causes Sauntuza to repent for having disclosed the affair and begs Alfio to stop to no avail. The square is empty as the orchestra plays the famous intermezzo. The villagers come out of the church. Chiridu is in high spirits because he is with Lola and Sontosa appears to have gone. He invites his friends to his move there a Euro unregistered trademark S wine shop where he sings a drinking song, Viva, Io vino spamegante a Euro hail to the bubbling wine. Alfio joins them. Chiridu offers him wine, but he refuses it. All understand that trouble is in the air. The women leave, taking Lola with them. In a brief exchange of words, Alfio challenges Chiridu to a duel. Following Sicilian custom, the two men embrace, and Chiridu, in a token of acceptance, bites Alfa Euro unregistered trademark S ear, drawing blood which signifies a fight to the death. Alfio leaves and Chiridu calls Lucia back. He tells her that he is going outside to get some air and asks that she be a kindly mother to Sontosa if he should not return, un bacio, mama. Un altro bacio. A Euro Adio. A Euro One Kiss, Mother. 
One more kiss. A Euro farewell. Chiridu rushes out. Lucia, weeping, wanders aimlessly around outside her house. Saunters approaches and throws her arms around her. The villagers start to crowd around. Voices are heard in the distance and a woman cries, they have murdered Chiridu. Saunters a faints and Lucia collapses in the arms of the women villagers. Instrumentation, Maskafni calls for a standard-sized orchestra consisting of two flutes, two piccolos, two oboes, two clarinets, two bassoons, four horns, two trumpets, three trombones, tuba, timpani, percussion, harp, organ and strings. Recordings There have been over 100 full-length recordings of Cavalleria Rusticana published since it was first recorded in Germany in 1909. As in live performances of the opera, recordings of the work have often been paired with Ruggeroli and Cavallo's Pagliacchi. In addition to the original Italian, recordings of the work in the English, French, German, and Hungarian languages have been released. Maskafni himself conducted the opera in two recordings, the more well known of which is the 1940 Emmy recording made to mark the 50th anniversary of the opera's premiere. The performance by the La Scala Orchestra and Chorus with Lina Bruna Reza as Sontuza and Benny Amano Gigli as Chiridu also has a spoken introduction by Maskafni. Originally released as an LP, it is available on CD under several historical recording labels. Radio A double bill performance of Cavalleria and Pagliacchi was transmitted as the first broadcast by New York City's Metropolitan Opera on December 11, 1910. Radio pioneer Lee de Forest talked Giulio Gatti Casaza, the Met manager, into sending the program over the airwaves by using a backstage radio transmitter and a rooftop antenna, using a long fishing pole for his mast. Enrico Caruso and Emmy Dustin were in the leading roles. Few listened. There were no radios. But public receivers had been set up in several well advertised locations in New York City and people could catch at least an inkling of the music on earphones. The next day, the New York Times reported that static and other interference kept the homeless song waves from finding themselves. In Los Angeles, California, an Italian night concert was heard live in its entirety on May 6, 1930, as the third program of the Adair Opera series over radio station KFI, featuring a distinguished cast headed by Lisa Roma, noted lyric soprano. Music lovers should not fail to tune in. A notable use of the intermezzo from Cavalleria Rusticana in the United States was as the theme for a regular radio broadcast, Symphony of the Rockies, which featured a small string group playing light classical music in the 1930s and 1940s over Denver radio station KOA, then owned and operated by the NBC network. It was a feed to the entire network from the KOA studios. Film Apart from video recordings of live performances, there have been several cinematic versions of Cavalleria Rusticana, the most notable of which are, the 1916 silent film accompanied by Maskafni's score, directed by Hugo Fulner, with Gemma Bellincioni, who had created the role of Sontosa in the opera's world premiere. The 1953 film directed by Carmine Galone, using actors miming to the voices of opera singers with a young Anthony Quinn as Alfio miming to the voice of Tito Gobbi. The 1968 film directed by A.K. Falk, with Firenze Cossuto as Sontosa, Gianfranco Secchia as Chiridu, Gian Giacomo Guelfi as Alfio and Anna Di Stasio as Lucia. The 1982 film directed by Franco Seffarelli, using opera singers for actors with Placido Domingo as Chiridu, Elena Obrazdzova as Sontosa. Renato Brusen as Alfio and Fedora Barbieri as Lucia. The opera's symphonic intermezzo has figured in the soundtrack of several films, most notably in the opening of Raging Bull and in the finale of The Godfather Part III, which also featured a performance of the opera as a key part of the film's climax. The opera itself has been featured in a trailer for the 2015 action movie Mad Max, Fury Road. References Bibliography External links, Cavalleria Rusticana, Scores at the International Music Score Library Project, Complete Opera on YouTube.